Welcome back to Project Hospital, where everything is running a little more smoothly than it has been for a while now. It, you know, it might seem like we're on the edge of bankruptcy, but no, I, I promise you we are so close to being super rich, it's not even funny. Uh, so what we're going to do this episode is focus on trying to get our fifth hospital. Oh goodness, this is very loud. Um, so our fifth hospital is coming, or hospital, the fifth ambulance is coming up. Uh, that should unlock the quick snap care, which is going to give us a ton of new options, I hope. And with the money coming in from our amazing uh, cardio surgery or cardiology department, uh, with all the surgeries that we have, we are going to be using that money for good and not evil. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's buy our fifth awesome ambulance, and we'll park it right now. Maybe. All right, so insurance company Quick Snap Care can be contracted. What are they going to give us? They're going to be sending... <gasps> Why can't I ca Oh, you buggers. Why can't I, uh, I contact you? Oh, what did I do? Quick snap here. Do I not have enough peoples? Oh, you can only have three out of three companies. Interesting. So, save a patient after two collapses, random events. Oh, this is where we start to get events. Okay, cool. So, what we're going to do then is I'm going to probably just cancel, uh, Cheapo Care... Because Cheapo Care was simply just giving us uh, 23 cents with two ambulance patients. I'm going to go ahead and do... Because um, we're still working towards the uninsured. So eventually we're going to get to that and finish it off. Then we'll remove those cents from our list. And I want to try some events to maybe try to get some money. So um, save a, a patient after two collapses. Which is going to be like like five seconds, honestly. Because we have people collapsing left and right. Oh no, we don't have a trauma center. Oh, that's a first. Normally we are all over... The, uh, the trauma center. Hey, look, we already got people after two collapses. That was quick. So, randomly get events. Oh, we actually get a event button. Well, that's pretty cool. So, this is going to be something like, I don't know, a mass, casu a mass casualty or maybe some kind of a disease or outbreak. Um, our patient right outside the ambulance is waiting for a room. Where are you trying to go to? We're waiting for an MRI, urine blood sample. You have We have no idea what you have right now. Are you waiting for a nurse to come get you? Okay, there you go. So hopefully you can get removed soon. Uh, we're not entirely sure where you're going. No, you actually do have uh, cardio. So you're going to be transferred to cardio HDU. So someone's probably coming down from cardio right now. You know what I didn't really think of ahead of time? And I might down the road if I'm able to redesign. Ooh, actually. Oh, this might work out really well. Hang on. Look at the space I've got right here tucked into the corner. And look at how much space I left myself. I could put an elevator shaft right on the edge of our emergency department. That would be, oh god, the blood. Uh, that would be amazing to transport people up to cardio, because then they could go right into the, the patient rooms, right into HDU. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, that is going to be a new goal. I, I think you can add elevator shafts after the fact. Here's to hoping. Um, but what we'll do is actually put one right here, and probably right here, just to make it symmetrical because reasons. And that should connect in with both of these hallways so they can either go into one of the diagnostic units or go right over to the rooms oh that's so exciting i'm super psyched that this is going to be a thing now and that we managed to just have enough space ready to go to make that happen very cool all right sorry i'll uh, i'll calm myself down a little bit so if someone's coming to get you um what about you you have to have an iv infusion we're not entirely sure what's wrong with you but it is related to the heart can i transfer you over to cardio I can. Okay, let's get her out of the emergency room and into cardio. So the next couple of things, I guess we're going to wait to see what happens with these special events. And once we start getting a couple events, I might switch back to Cheapo Care in order to try to grab this 70 patients per day thing. Because that's what we're trying to do right now in order to finish off the... Although we might not be able to get to this without um, more advanced things like Quick Snap Care or the Overcure Inc. Look at that payout. Their sends are going to be at 150% of normal. That's amazing, although nine fully working departments is quite a ways off. But I'm very excited. I'm, I'm, uh, I like the fact that we can kind of adjust as we go and make changes to the hospital wherever we want. So I'm eager to see what else is going to come of this hospital, and I want to start working on other departments. What do you think we should do for our next department? Um, we, of course, have our cardio all set. Let's take a look at the money. Let's see who's been, who's been the biggest winners for us over the last few... Uh, weeks 22 or uh, 2226 for ortho God, look at that surgical man surgical is just raking in the money they do seem to be kind of random though it really is probably depending on you know who's coming in that day 
I guess we really could just work through the list. And um, do I need to change something? Let's say we've got general surgery. Which What are you? You are internal medicine. And then it goes to ortho. And then it goes to, to uh, cardio. I really wish I would have done it floor uh, each floor with the proper buttons in order. But I screw, I, screw, I screw that up and put general surgery up on top. Um, I think I might focus on doing neurology next because neurology is going to be a big one. Brain surgery would be pretty nice. Or ortho might be relatively easy. A little bit more low impact, a little bit more, um, you know, patients who aren't exactly about to lose, uh, you know, to die because of all the heart injuries they have. So it is a possibility. Meanwhile, how's the rest of the uh, hospital looking? You guys are still sitting at medium workload. Do we have a full staff for the, the doctors during the day? We do. Oh, we also could look at getting the clinic open 24 hours. We already have, I think we already have 24-hour nurses or um, uh, staff at the radiology for sure. What about at the laboratories? Do we have a 24-hour staff at labs? No, we don't. So we would have to bring on some people for labs. I've not really checked in a while to see if our labs are getting behind at all. But by and large, I think they're doing pretty well. Worst case scenario, I might duplicate both the labs and the CT stuff down here, down the road. Uh, we did talk about ICU moving upstairs. Honestly, though, hmm, that's another one, too. If we do add elevators in this spot, this might be a great location for ICU. And again, we talked about extending our hospital out one more row to include more departments or more space for the departments down the road. So we could also have uh, the, you know, all of the um, scanning get done, radiology can get done in this wing, all of the laboratories can get done, and they might share one of the corridors. So lots of options for us. I'm really excited. And I really do plan on sticking this through and just trying to see how big of a hospital I can get. I, I really have a problem with uh, management games. I tend to have a horrible habit where I restart all the time. I'm like, oh, I could do something different. I could make it better or what have you. And I really want to play this one through and put a little TLC in there. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how well this patient or this patient, this hospital works. Waiting for that first event, uh, collapsing patients left and right. I'll be back here once we get more money as per usual. Well, it looks really funky, but the elevator does indeed uh, make a, a kind of extend upwards to whatever floors you've already created. So we can uh, connect this in. It's going to be a great spot. And I really do think now that I've got the access to the elevator on this side near our emergency, this is all going to turn into ICU. I think that's going to be a perfect spot for ICU because whenever patients crash, they tend to make their way towards the trauma center. And this way we'll be able to transport them over to ICU after they stabilize. I also think that maybe having one trauma center kind of closer to the mid mid range elevator here might not be a bad idea that way if patients are collapsing you know somewhere up on uh i don't know what if they're what if they're collapsing when they're going to radiology or something this would be faster to take them here than go all the way downstairs and then all the way to the edge of the hospital so having some kind of a tr an internal trauma center room that's just kind of by itself might not be a bad idea Hey, there we go. We got our 70 patients per day, so increased ambulance patients per day to five. For which is it this one send group? Uh, five, three, five. I don't know how it went. I actually sold some other ambulances just because I noticed that per day we were only getting like so many calls uh, on each of the ambulances. So I sold it for the moment. Um, if we treat 80 patients per day, we're going to get a $50,000 government grant. We're only getting about 86 cents, so it's probably unlikely that we'll hit the 80 mark but i'm going to leave it on for the moment i think i'm going to go back down to the quick snap care for a bit and try to see if we can't get this event going i don't know if uh if we still have the option to have a random event even when we don't have the quick care person thing what are you waiting on you're down here waiting for a ct scan what's going on with our labs do we have a hold up here we only do have one ct scanner right this is mri this is the ct scan so maybe I should be making a copy of that as well, since we've got a good amount of money today. What do we do for income? Holy crap, we made bank. Uh, 22000 alone just from the cardio department. And the uh, emergency department came in pretty well as, uh, alongside it. So, I mean, we haven't had the outco outgoing yet for all of the, what do you call it, the fees. And the, uh, the, the wages. So let's see what happens right there at 8 o'clock. So far, I don't want to, like, jinx anything, but I have done really well with not losing patience, so that's exciting. Cool. We made 20000 today. Very nice. So that is back to uh, the good old days of making a crap ton of money hand over fist. 
And I also went ahead and hired a couple doctors to open our clinic 24-7. So we have an overnight staff in the uh, in the labs. We have overnight staff for all the scanning machines. And so we have overnight staff everywhere else. So I'm hoping this is going to give us just a couple more patients every day and maybe bring in a little bit more traffic. So we'll see how good the 24-hour clinic works out. And uh, from there, I guess we'll try, maybe, maybe tomorrow, I'll try to close down the liver TY insurance contract and then move on to the uh, quick snap care to see if that we I don't know if we trigger events by having that open or not like we do we have to have the quick snap in order to even have random events or are they every once in a blue moon man the EKG is apparently really really busy I can see now why they also some of the other prefab hospitals the one that were kind of already pre-made they would have a scanning machine right here. They would have their almost like an own dedicated scanner just for the emergency room patients. So where are you all sitting at? You are in, you're actually upstairs. I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. They're all, they're going to have to get transported somewhere. Who's collapsing while we're all hanging out together? Uh, you're in your fancy room. There was a day where we didn't really have too many HDU patients, but I can see that it's back up to full, almost full capacity again, which is great. I was thinking about trying to push that design, that layout I had, uh, an idea for as fast as possible. So basically move a, a diagnostic unit here. What do we actually use? We use the diagnostic unit and we use the cardiography unit quite a bit. So maybe have one diagnostic unit, one cardiography unit um, on the corners here just to help, you know, reduce the amount of distance or uh, travel time involved. We could do two to two, like back to back. But that would require probably a third wing at that point, like a third branch, in order to have the rooms needed uh, to support everyone. So maybe we won't do that for a little while. I was also thinking about possibly re uh, redesigning the surgical, uh, what do you call that, the surgical bay itself, the operating room. Because this is 12 wide, so this could fit nice and snug between the hallways. So we could do one here, and then flip it around and do another one here. There was even a really great design I saw. That kind of used, you know, it had the surgical, what would you call that, the surgical bay itself as like a six by six. So two of them together, and then kind of in the middle was a, uh, well, this the scrubbing room, was the washroom. And then there would be two more bays down here. So it really depends on, down the road, how many surgeries we realistically take in uh, in any given day. Okay, so I'm messing around a little bit with our room. So I'm trying to see if we can cram <laughs> more people into a smaller space. So I made a little bit of an, uh, this is a high dependency unit and it's three beds in one four or six by uh, six sized room. So it would, if we think about how we're doing it right now, it's one bed per every four wide. So this would shove three people into a six by six space. So overall, if we keep making more of those, that's going to give them uh, a lot more, you know, area to uh, more people in, in a smaller spot. I included a bathroom. I don't know if they're going to use it. I don't really know. I've seen some weird behavior, for example, like if this person wakes up and needs to use the restroom, they will go, if there's another room just like this next to it, they'll go out the door into the other person's room to use the bathroom, which is just, it drives me a little bit crazy that there's no wall considerations, but it is what it is. Um, at least I really won't be watching it that much to notice it. So I think I'm going to try to put this into rotation here. We've got a uh, good size gap that I moved some rooms around just to test this out. So I'm going to put this here. Oh god, they're all blue. Does that mean they're none of them are working? Dang it. Or is there no designation here? Hang on. Die. We need to put down the HDU across the entire room. Okay, it seems to be considering it to, to work. So I guess we'll leave this as it is and uh, check back on it after a while. I'm going to see if we can get some more people shoved in there. If we can, that's going to be great because... That's less, you know, less space we're taking up. Uh, the only other thing I might do, I, I could make it even wider for them and just only put, like, two beds in here overall, but I think it's a bit of a waste of space. Like, if we can fit three beds, why not put three beds in here? Now, in terms of entertainment value, you know, there's no sofa, there's no anything else. So if we want people to have space, we could try to add more, uh, more extra things in there. We also could try the old design that I had for the bathrooms in... Uh, what did I name it as ward or something? Yeah, right here. So you can see this is the this is one of some random room that I created. It's got a little bit of a private bathroom and a TV and things like that. So we could try that as well. 
if people are having trouble with, you know, if, if they're too bored or what have you. I'm not sure what constitutes boredom for these folks. Uh, I think I'm also missing, yeah, I moved something in the wrong spot. Let me move, there it is. Let's move this over to the bed. Perfect. I guess we'll just wait and see if anyone decides to use my fancy custom HDU, <laughs> which they may or may not. It's pretty garbage, but we'll see. Again, it could uh, it could save us a little bit of space. Hey, here we go. We have our first event that popped up. So, breaking news, fans of two football clubs have clashed and a brawl has resulted in a large number of injuries, okay? Um, pretty large number of patients that seem local hospitals should prepare for an increased number of trauma patients. Awesome. Let's accept it. Oh, God. Uh, one, two, three, four, five people. That's not too bad. I don't know if we're going to get them all, like, one after another or what. But I think they're just going to... Are they going to be trauma patients? Cure Sarah... Martinez. I think they're all going to be coming by hospital. This might be a little bit loud, so we'll fast forward through it a bit. Okay, so everyone's pretty much arrived. One of our uh, patients that's incoming is stuck. They're at the ambulance waiting to get seen. I think this might be why they have x-rays so close to the trauma centers in our other uh, in the other hospital that we took a look at. Maybe this is the type of event you wind up seeing. Lots of people have broken something or others. I can't move them, unfortunately. I can't assign them to ICU or any other department right now. We're not um, we're not able to do pretty much anything until we diagnose them. So I guess whoever's outside is going to have to wait a second, although I don't think they're in horrible shape. They're just mostly injured, and they're going to have to wait out there with the ambulance driver uh, for a minute until they get scanned. I could try to get a... Uh, another x-ray thing, but unfortunately we wind up using all of our money on the... I had to buy another TC room just to get four out of the five patients on the board. So, I'll fast forward a bit. Hey, uh, one of them was already cured up. So I think we're going to be okay. We might actually clear a bed here in just a moment and be able to get this fourth person in. Uh, fifth person in. Oh no! Uh, we failed our objective. I didn't know there was a timer coming down here. I kind of missed that. We weren't able to get David Hernandez in there to get scanned quick enough. Um... That's not the worst thing in the world. We lost prestige for the day, but at least now we kind of know what an event is going to be. So I think I'll try to save up a little money and uh, kind of do like some of the other hospitals did. Have maybe a custom little x-ray room really close to the uh, trauma center. That would make sense, especially if that's the type of emergencies we're likely to see in the future. Uh, also, someone is using my fancy custom HDU room, and I don't think they're in all that bad of shape. They're a little bored, but I think that most patients get bored. At some point, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. Can they can they even get entertained? I see some of them sit on a couch, but I don't believe they really do much. Yeah, you're bored. Honestly, if they're bored and they survive, I don't care. So maybe we'll keep this style of design for the HDU, or you know, we might make it a much bigger. We, we do have a lot of space here, right? There's a ton of open space. Um, one thing I was a little worried about is as we keep getting more patients, I don't know if I have enough nurses to compensate, and I have been trying to keep an eye on who's waiting for surgery versus you know who's just kind of in recovery here so i don't think you already had your cardiovascular surgery uh there's nobody up this direction except for up here nobody's waiting for surgery here so i think the surgeries are happening really quickly i also think that we might have too many doctors so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to take out the second anesthesiologist or whoever's cheaper or the worst one you're a hard worker you are uh resistant and practical long commute. I think I'll take out this one here. So we're going to let her go. And I think I'm going to let one of the surgeons go as well. You're 399, you're 668. Good lord. You're apparently an amazing surgeon. Although, you know what? That's funny. The, um, how is that a thing? David Lopez is a better surgeon than this guy, but he's paid less. Maybe it's the traits. Maybe that's what it really, what it comes down to. Let's let go of William for a minute. Bye, William. Thanks for working for us. We appreciate you. So we have a spare doctor, and I'm wondering if maybe just having the extra doctors are what helps us get into surgery. And of course, the nurses, as you can see, the nursing stations are pretty much all empty. Like, all the nurses are on the floor. So I was also thinking about, especially if we start stuffing rooms or stuffing these areas with lots of high-density rooms, I might put a nursing station on the end of a hallway, on either hallway. So we have one in the middle, and then one nursing station on the end of each hallway, all staffed with a crap ton of nurses. And I think we might need to do that just to keep people moving from, you know, point A to point B. Uh, which rooms are still being used a lot? We have 
critical high usage of the diagnostic unit, critical critical of this cardiography unit, uh, not much usage of the USG, the sonography unit, and then critical again on this diagnostic unit. So, I mean, these things are getting used like every moment of every day. So maybe two of each, maybe like one diagnostic unit on each side and then one cardiography unit on each wing, on each side of the hallway might be what we need here. And I could try to probably free up a little bit of room. Honestly, wait, is anybody in this room right now? I can move this out of the way. Let's go ahead and move this room. I just want to start clearing out the space for the future. We'll put you right here for the moment. Perfect. Yeah, so I'm going to start clearing out a little space, enough space in, to uh, to put in a couple of these cardiography units. And I will wind up redoing the nurse's station here in a little bit. I might even make it open. Kind of like, a you know, most, most nurse's stations have some kind of open front. They've got like a little counter area, and then they've got the stuff in the back. Now, I, I, we're kind of up against the hallway. There's not a really a lot of room to overlap, but uh, we'll see what we can do here for them as uh, well. All right, we have another event coming up. So major uh, earthquake, it looks like, has hit the region. Local hospitals must be prepared to receive casualties. We're going to try this one out again. Um, cure patients, we don't know how many we're getting, apparently. Let's go ahead and close this down. We've got four open trauma centers. Here's to hoping that's going to work out. If the first couple people I see have a lot of broken bones, you know what? Instead, before we actually get to that point, how about, how about I straight up rip the... Uh, with this, this is the x-ray, right? The x-ray is over here. Someone is... No, no one's using the x-ray. Why can't I... Oh, the, uh, the the staff member is in here. Crap. Let's close the room. Yeah, you don't have anywhere to work, I know. So you're going to stand up and get out of there. Okay. So can I rip this out? Uh, just the x-ray. Just in case this is another uh, you know situation where there's a bunch of broken bones. We're going to put x-ray uh, right here. As funky as that might be. There we go. And we'll assign this, uh, let's go to radiology and assign this, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, radiology, not laboratories, as our x-ray room, all the way over here, the gaping hole in this, oh, there's a window there, that's fine. We'll assign our, whoever's unemployed to, back to it, there we go, Lisa Taylor. Okay, so we got at least an x-ray room that's close by, just in the event that there's more of our, uh, oh god, there's a ton of people, <laughs> we're so screwed, um, just in case there's a lot of people that need to have x-rays. Wait a minute, are these cure the patients? We have 22 minutes. Are they coming in on foot? Oh, they're mobile. Okay. That's not too bad. I can handle mobile people because that means they're going to be assigned as they come in. And uh, we should be okay. You're a little hurt. Let me take a look at you. God, in 22 minutes though? That's pretty rough. I don't know if this is going to be 22 minutes of game time. Or is it 22 hours? Oh, I think it's the entire day. Okay, so it's 20. It's 22 hours to treat everyone, I think. So let's just speed things up. I will keep an eye on our patient list uh, to see what everyone's up to. And I guess maybe at about um, 12 hours or so, if people haven't been actually going to their bed or we don't know what's going on, uh, I, I'll just watch the diagnosis. If we don't know the diagnosis by a little bit, I'll take more of an active hand. All right, lots of people are leaving. So we've got one, two... We have quite a few people who've been treated so far. What happened? Why did I fail my event? Or one of your patients was misdiagnosed? Ah. Oh. What happened here? Did she... I don't see a misdiagnosis. I mean, if they collapse, they collapse. That's not necessarily death, right? Were you, were you one of the people who was in my list? Peter Johnson. He's not in my list. So it must have been a misdiagnosis. Oof. Oof and ouch. Don't we even have a high level of certainty on... No, we don't. So, okay, that's another lesson learned. All right, well, I'll tell you what. We're a little short on money. So I'm going to go ahead and take Quick Snap off our list because I want to get back to having more people sent every day. We need to recover a bit of money because I've had this on a lower amount of people sent every day. So I will uh, go ahead and wrap things up this episode. It might be a little bit short, but we will go back to making money. And um, I might try redesigning both the nurse's station and i don't like this room i really don't but i also think that it's going to be important especially with the spacing to try to have a bathroom in every single one of these rooms so maybe we do something that's like 12 wide and we put a bathroom right dead center of it that way patients will never be attracted to an outer uh another room to use the bathroom also the nurses will totally use this bathroom 
instead of going to <laughs> the staff and janitor instead of going to a bathroom down the hall. So that's awkward. So we'll see if we can fix that up. Uh, thanks so much for joining me, my friends, as always, for more Project Hospital. Until next time, take care.